In this video, I'll show you how you can find out which version of NumPy you are using on your computer system. The diagram you can see in front of you is a useful way to think of classes that you're using when you're coding. And what you can see here is an ND array class that will have attributes and will have methods. Now in the object orientated world, you will create instances of classes and you can create an instance of a numpy array, an ND array instance. And of course, I'm going to show that, as you can see here by an arrow, producing the instance. Now, of course, this would be done in code, but what you can see here is the class and what you can see here is a diagrammatic representation of an instance of that class, i.e. you can see we have an ND array. Let's say you are building an application in Python and you're using the facilities offered by the NumPy module. You attempt to use a member of ND array within your code and it does not work. When I use the word member, I'm referring to the attributes and methods that have been defined in the ND array class. Having attempted to use this member that's been defined in the ND array class, it does not work. And you've read about it in the documentation on NumPy. But the code fails to work correctly. And the question is, why is this the case? And you then have to go and find out. Now, one of the things that it could be is the fact that you don't have the most up-to-date version of the NumPy module on your computer system. Python and the modules that are used by Python are under continual development. A new version of NumPy can result in additional and altered attributes and methods. So if we return to this point and ask why is the code not working, it could be, as I've already said, because you do not have the most up-to-date version of NumPy on your computer system. So the answer to the question, why does it not work, could be the fact that you do not have this member within the version that you are using. And by member, I'm referring to the attribute and the method. To find out what is the latest version of NumPy that's been released, go to this URL here, numpy.org. Using the URL that I showed you on the last slide, your browser should show you the web page and it should look something like this. And on the date I'm making this video, you can see that the latest release is this version here, 1.23.0. Now, of course, you need to compare this version to the version that you've got on your computer system. We've already seen that this diagram can be a good way to represent a class. And to find out what version you currently have on the computer, we can look to a specific attribute. And in the case of NumPy, this attribute will give access to a string, and this string will hold the version number for the current version of the NumPy module you have installed on your computer. The version string is stored under this attribute. And you can see it gives a sensible name for the attribute. It says it is version, meaning it's the version of the software that we're using, the version of NumPy we're using. What you can see in front of the word version here is two underscores, and at the end you can see there is two underscores. So the full name of the attribute is as you see it here, two underscores, version, and two underscores. Another word for two underscores in Python is dunder. So this is actually dunder, version, dunder. Now why two underscores? are used in the way in which you can see in this name for the attribute is something to be covered in a different video. It's just that when you use Python, you'll see this dunder use quite a lot and often for different reasons. Just accept for the purpose of this video, if you want to get Python to display the version of NumPy it's using, you have to use the full name as you can see it here. 
So let's move this point to the top of the slide and now let's consider a Python program that will import NumPy and then display the version of NumPy that is on my computer. So let's look at that computer program and you can see it here. On this line, I'm importing NumPy as NP. So NP will now be the alias. If you look here, what you can see, I've used the alias, then I've put a dot, and here I've wrote out the full name of the attribute. And you can see that this is within a print statement. And of course, what this print statement will do, it'll print what this returns. And of course, this is going to return the string that tells us what version of NumPy, or if you prefer NumPy, a couple of ways of pronouncing it, what version is installed in this case on my computer. So if I run this program, what I'm going to see is this. And you can see here that the version of NumPy I have on my computer is 1.23.2. Please consider subscribing to the channel and click the bell to ensure you get an update every time I upload a video. Maybe you would like to consider supporting the development of these free videos via Patreon. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter and also check out the supporting website.